Okay, so um, this is part two. This is one of the jewel trees that I have made and I lit it up with those little teeny tiny fine lights. So that's that. I, you know, and I had shown some of the decor before, but um, I just figured I'd go over it again. So that's that vignette there on top of suitcases and my grandmother's piano bench. You know what, I digress. Let me go tell you about the, let me go tell you about the, um, the manger scene. I've told everyone every Christmas and here it is again. This was um, sent to my mom and dad, their first year of marriage. And um, every year my father was very, very close to his mother. Uh, she was a single mom uh, trying to raise four children and uh, during uh, the depression and um, my father was the oldest and uh, suffice it to say he had to grow up fast and he had to take care of all the children like he was their father. He did a good job and um, and he made his own family. He did a good job with that. So he was very proud of his mother and her work. So everything that they didn't get a lot of extra stuff so everything that my grandmother would send was precious to him and you know we were kids we got almost everything we wanted for Christmas mom and dad struggled to get it but they got it for us so we really didn't understand till we grew up later in life and that's a good lesson for everyone to try and teach your children um, anyway um, my father would unwrap this box I still have the original box hold on a minute The address does not exist anymore. And I'm gonna see if I can show you the writing because it's precious. This is the box that it came in originally 60 something years ago. And it says, whoops, I have it upside down. Hold on a minute. This to me is important, guys. History, your own history is important. Um, it says, Um, it says, um, Mrs. E. Vreeland, 7 Glover Avenue, Yonkers, New York. And that's the place that we visited when we would see Grandma. That's the place that my father grew up. And it was to Mr. and Mrs. J. E. Vreeland, that's my mom and dad, 967 East 21st Street, Hialeah, Florida. That's where I was born. That's where I grew up. And my grandmother was, she was so sweet. She wrote on the outside of the box. If you don't want this, give it to someone. Love mom. I don't, you know, she just never thought her stuff was good enough. And it was more than good enough. So anyway, this is, this, my father opened this every Christmas. He unwrapped it. I still have the original wrappings. Each thing gets wrapped individually in these tattered pieces of kind of batting stuff that are yellow and old, but I love it all. And, um, and he unwrapped every single piece and put it in the manger every year until he passed away. And then my mom did it. And as little girls, I remember sitting, we weren't allowed to play with these. You know, that's why I played with these. But um, it was a big deal. Daddy would gather us around and, and he would sit and he would put it together and we would, you know, honor Jesus. And yeah, that was big. So um, then there's three girls in my family and my mom and dad had three girls. And um, I said, please, I would like to have that if nobody else wants it. Nobody else wanted to, you know, argue or anything that, you know, they were like, you can have it. They took other things. So I have opened it and put it out every year for Christmas. And um, I called my, um, one of my daughters this morning. I have to call the other one. And, um, and I told them now while their children are young, I want to give this to them so that they will remember. Because I remember my grandmother. I remember my father who are, they're all gone now. And um, I want them to have it so that they remember me and then they also remember their mom and dad putting it out every Christmas so it gets passed down. So that's the story of the manger and that's why I cry because it, it is precious. All right, all right, I digress. Let me go. Took too much time. 
Um, okay, Christmas tree. <sighs> I don't think I can get back far enough. Let me see. How far back do I need to go? Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's a seven foot tree. I did not put a topper on it because I said I'm too exhausted to go find the other boxes. So um, that's my, and this this year is vintage Christmas. So I have all of the vintage things that I found along with the ones that I made that are made to look vintage. There are some of the vintage ones. Here's some of the postcards, the vintage postcards. And um, there's those metal ornaments that I found. There's some bottle brush. Um, there's those little Santa lights. The light strand did not work, so I took all of the little things off and I stuck them randomly into the lights on the tree already. There's, and then there's my little candle things. Of course, we're not gonna light them, but they're vintage. They're also vintage. And um, there's some more of those little ornaments that I found. And there's, there's that ornament there that I made. And um, those things there. And so that's my tree so far. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. And then I have this little thing behind here. And this is a music box, church. Another vintage find, I don't have it. Let me see if I can wind it really quick so you can get just a blurb. Oh, you saw my nightgown. Yes, folks, I am not getting in clothes today. And there's some of my little, there's a little um, Precious Moments nativity. And there's a globe that I, that's one of the ornaments I got to make um, right before I left for North Carolina. There's another little dolly. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take you back here. Um, let me show you up above. I'm almost done, folks. We, uh, I have the kitchen, but it's not done. And, uh, and then I have the family room. This, I mean, uh, the family room and the back patio, which I have to do tonight and tomorrow so there we go that's the that's my china cabinet with all my little girlies and all my pretty precious finds and um i've got some lights up there and uh, i don't know if you can see i have a nativity up there and there's the three wise men which anyway uh, that's as high as i can reach my hands guys and um hold on a minute Oh, my arms hurt now, but let me turn this light on. Okay, so that's how that looks up there. And I think the only other thing is there's my stack of boxes that have to go in the garage now. Um, that basket has uh, all kinds of Christmas children's books. Um, there's a wicker stool uh, that somebody hand stitched. Uh, the top on this is one of my jewel trees I think this is the first one that I made let me see and I put lights inside of it let me see you can see the little birdie and all kinds of pretties um and then these are the carolers that I got the other day and there's vintage uh, balls in a little antique teacup and there is I found that several years ago in a thrift store and there's my sheep and the lion laying down with the lamb and there's my little festive and it has like a, one of those battery candles in it I will light and there's some big old acorns and that's that for now Not we'll talk this. to you guys later I forgot this I wanted to show you this I got this little um, vintage uh, punch out uh, book. It's a, uh, it's um, what was it called? I, I can't remember what it's called on the cover, but I opened it to the punch out for the nativity, and I put this old frame around it, and it's on a music stand. And then there's a Christmas tree in a truck, two little horses. I didn't know where to put them, so I just stuck them there. Like I said, I'm getting to the end of my rope here and I don't feel good. So there's a reindeer jumping in the back and there is a Santa Claus and there are some reindeer. I think I showed this to you before, but 
I've added more vintage decorations here and this is the extra elf that I got the other day and I'll put in there and um, and those are all vintage balls in there and there's some little vintage goodies little glass those are those that's the holy grail of um, uh, glass strands there's some elves and my suitcase is fraying, but that's okay. It's character, and I have lights inside there. So, uh, yes, and then this little guy here, these these here, because I love my vintage stool. I'm not going to pick that thing up because I am one-handed. But it has an old, like, tapestry. Somebody hand-did it, and it's tattered and torn. I, I just, people put their feet on it. And I don't want them to put their feet on it. I want them to look at it and enjoy it. But I don't want them. So I covered it because I'm going to have a lot of people in my house. And, you know, some people don't understand that you don't put your feet on something like that. So I put this little thing with a little snowman and a little tree that I made. And the snowman says, the creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. And God made the acorns. So I want to add that to it. So, all right. So that's that. Um, there's a family photo with some little Christmas, you know, holiday bows. And there's the couch. And I haven't done anything with the coffee table yet. I might put those mirrors on the coffee table. I don't know. So anyway, that's it. And uh, I'm really done right now.